All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to tackle a problem where we are given something as a real world situation. And um, how do we solve a problem like this? So let's first, again, this is a um, word problem. So we want to read the words and see if we can put our, um, wrap our minds around what is happening in this problem. Suppose that an airplane is asked to stay in a holding pattern near an airport. The distance of the plane to the airport is described by the following. D of t is equal to 136 plus 69 sine of pi over 6 times t. Okay. In this equation, d of t is the distance of the plane to the airport in miles, and t is the time in minutes after the plane enters the holding pattern. So we're wondering, in the first 12 minutes after the plane enters the holding pattern, when will the plane, when, this is, we're solving for t, when will the plane be 180 miles from the airport? And that's going to be D of T. Okay. All right. So we're going to start in this way. We're going to substitute 180 in for D of T. And then we'll have this um, equation. 180 is equal to 136 plus 69 times the sine of pi over 6 times t. Okay, well, the first thing I see with this equation is this piece here. This is somewhat of a complicated argument, and so let's think about um, subbing that out and um, putting in something that's a little easier to deal with. So let's let u equal pi over 6 t. And let's solve for u. So um, let's see. We'll say 180 is equal to 136 plus 69 times the sine of u. All right, so let's go ahead and solve for u. First thing we would want to do is isolate the trig function. So we're going to subtract that 136 to the other side. And then we would divide by 69. Now, if we subtract the 136 to the left hand side, we would end up with 44. And then if we divide by 69, we would just get 44 over 69 is equal to the sine of u. All right. Next, we would want to figure out what u is. Okay, so um, u is an angle measure. We want to know what that angle measure is. Okay, so uh, a couple of things here. Um, this is going to be a case where we need to think about where is sine positive. And in that case, we're going to have uh, two Quadrants is going to be positive in quadrant one, and it's also going to be positive in quadrant two. Okay, so u is going to be the angle measure, and that is going to be found by sine inverse of 44 over 69. Okay, so we can get that from our calculator. Now it says do not round any intermediate computations, and we're going to the nearest hundredth of a minute. So if we're going to use a decimal approximation here, we're going to need at least four or five decimal places to preserve that accuracy level, okay? So let's take from our calculator the sine inverse, um, let's see, sine inverse of 44 divided by 69 gives me 0.69144. Okay, so that's this angle measure here in, um, one, four, eight, in uh, quadrant one. All right, so now we want to think about what would that measure be in quadrant two. And that's going to be, um, this is going to be the reference angle, 0.69148. 
Okay, so the measure of this angle in quadrant two is going to be pi minus 0.69148. All right. Okay, awesome. Let's just add the adder right here of plus 2 pi n. Um, it's not going to matter in this case, but it might matter in the future. And so this is going to be, uh, let's see, negative 2, I'm sorry, positive 2.45. Two point four five zero one. One, okay, plus two pi. All right. Now what we're going to do is we've solved for u, but this was written in uh, t to begin with. So now that we have what u is equal to, we're going to substitute back in what u was equal to and solve for t. So we're going to go back to um, pi over 6 times t is equal to this thing, 0.69148 plus 2 pi n. And then the other one, pi over 6 t is equal to point, uh, I'm sorry, 2.45011 plus 2 pi n. And then to complete this process, we're going to multiply the entire thing by 6 over pi. Okay. All right. And so we would end up with t is equal to, we're going to multiply everything by uh, 6 over pi. And when I do that, uh, let's see, if I multiply 0. 0.69148 times 6 divided by pi, I get, uh, this is where I can use just the hundredth place. 1.32. All right. And then if I multiply this by uh, 6 over pi here, guess what? We get 12. And so that's going to be out of our uh, 12 second range if I add 12 to this. And then the other one here it will end up being, let's see, 2.45011 times 6 divided by pi. You end up with uh, 4.68 plus 12. And so these adders are not going to do anything for us because we are looking at the first 12 minutes. And we just want to make sure that, um, it, I mean, if I added 12 to this 1.32, it would be 13, right? So it's over 12 minutes. It doesn't matter. Same here. It would be 16 and some change. So our two answers are going to be at 1.32 minutes and at 4.68 minutes. All right. Hope this helps you solve this type of problem. And I will talk to you later.